Let's move along to Fox News host Kennedy slamming the race and equity director at US UCLA, her old college, for being one of the many armchair experts who are uh, indulging in conspiracy theories about Princess Kate, um, even saying she doesn't really have cancer. This character, Jonathan Perkins, has tweeted a series of posts questioning the cancer diagnosis, accusing the royal family of trying to silence speculation. And even on Easter Sunday, he tweeted, wait, isn't Kate Middleton supposed to rise today? Uh, what's going on here? He's recently reposted this uh, fairly telling tweet, a picture of Prince Harry and his wife Meghan with the caption, love wins. Uh, Guys paid a six-figure salary to foster understanding, compassion and inclusiveness and yet he's mocking Princess Catherine on the basis of her cancer diagnosis. It's so sick. I refuse to even say his name. And if you look at the amount of tweets this nearly 40-year-old man has sent about the Princess of Wales, I don't know how you can think that there's nothing but mental instability there. I mean, it, it's wild. I, get a life is really what I would tell this individual. But, you know, we need to look at his track record. When he was at the University of Virginia in 2011, he stirred race relations on campus by claiming in a letter to the student paper that he was racially profiled by campus cops. Shortly after that, he admitted to lying about the whole ordeal, saying, I wrote the article to bring attention to the topic of police misconduct. The events in the article did not occur. In 2017, he lied again and said his original story was true and that the FBI made him retract it. This is not a person that uh, has a very strong relationship with the truth. Um, I cannot believe UCLA continues to employ him. Him because I think that he is a, a very scary individual. Well, yeah, and he's just indulging in absolute lies here. We're not even talking about scuttlebutt that, you know, could possibly be true. They're just crazy conspiracy theories. Now, let's talk about this news report from The Times. It reveals that Catherine's parents, Carol and Michael Middleton, are in debt, hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt after their party business collapsed last year and they cannot pay the £260,000 for insolvency firm costs. Uh, their business fell into administration owing over £2.5 million. Uh, they're obviously trying to shield their daughters from these woes, particularly Catherine. Um, how do you think uh, this story is going to unfold? Their daughter, the youngest daughter, Pippa, married a billionaire and I don't know if she's going to step in and help. Uh, what's what's the latest on this story? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I actually feel real sympathy about this story because the Times specifically says that Carol is Carol Middleton is trying to shield the Princess of Wales from uh, this debt that she's embarrassed by and doesn't want to burden her with. So why not splash it all over the papers? Like, you know, you hope that that <laughs> reporter at the Times never has people whispering secrets in their family's ear if they're ever dealing with a health crisis. What we do know is that the Middletons are attempting to pay this off. It's not like they they've they're not trying to. They've also not asked either one of their, any of their children, I'm sorry, James, Pippa, or the Princess of Wales for any sort of help whatsoever. And they certainly haven't reached out to the, the British royal family to ask for help. It's something that they're trying to deal with in private. And honestly, with the Princess of Wales going through her cancer treatment and Carol taking a much larger role in Kate's household, I think it's almost at the back of their mind. This is something we'll figure out later. Now, let's talk about the big Hollywood news. Uh, actors Isla Fisher and Sasha Baron Cohen are divorcing. Isla announced the end of their 14-year marriage and 20-year relationship in a well, somewhat bizarre tennis-themed post on Instagram. Let's have a look at it. The timing is interesting. He's facing fairly ugly allegations of bullying and sexual harassment from movie star Rebel Wilson, whose explosive memoir he's allegedly trying to stop or delay. Is this announcement a coincidence, Kinsey? Is it in any way related to those allegations? The timing does seem to be curious. 
I agree with you. I do think that this is an indication that Isla was not willing to stand up and defend Sasha in the midst of such damaging allegations. Um, you know, it, it was in Isla's best interest to cut ties and no longer be a part of this narrative because, you know, she might be thinking, knowing what I know, things could get worse. I got to get out of here. In the court of public opinion, Sasha and his team know that this is not a positive reflection on his character to see his wife distance herself right now, today. Now, the mail on Sunday revealed that the real reason behind the breakup was over a disagreement about where they should live. But I think ultimately we're seeing this announcement now because uh, Isla just doesn't want to be a part of the story any, any longer. Well, that would make sense, but we should point out Sasha Baron Cohen uh, strenuously denies the allegations made against him by Rebel Wilson. And there were media reports just uh, in the last few hours that this divorce from Isla's side was planned a couple of years ago. So she, they, there's allegations that she's been thinking about this and, and yes, planning yes, but, this. But so. Well, Kate, but she did just go on the Kelly Clarkson show on Valentine's Day and talk about how she spends Valentine's Day with Sasha. So this is a brand they were trying to oh, keep up. Oh, that is a good... You know what, Kinsey? That's why we need you, because you you <laughs> fact-check me when I need to be fact-checked. Kinsey Schofield, thank you so much for your time this evening.